Have you ever wondered how it's like to leave your home country and start a new life in a new country in your early 20s before you even turn 20 and also be a creative flowing person and also be thrown into a pool of responsibilities that you have no idea how to figure out but you figure out by yourself without your family and you're a creative soul at heart. If you don't follow your passions, you feel like something's missing in your life but you're also a sensitive spiritual person and continuously try to figure your way out. Hi, that's me. Hi, I'm Asta and welcome to my channel. And this is an intro to my page. And it's only fair that I reintroduce myself to you if you're new here and to my 829 subscribers. It is 2024 and I feel like a new person now. So I think it's time for a reintroduction. I made this channel back in 2016 with a passion to be a YouTuber. I uploaded my video when I was 16 before I was turning 17. So I had something to say when I would be more successful. Like I started my YouTube page when I was 16. I realized I never kept up with posting super consistently and showing up here as I envisioned myself to. But it's 2024 now. I'm turning 25 in three days on 14th of August. And I realized that I don't want to be a 30 year old and look back and realize I had a whole decade to follow these dreams that I had and especially YouTube and look back and think that I never followed through just because I, did, I wasn't feeling good on a few days, just because I felt like I might not be good enough and only because I felt like my video was not perfect enough to be published online. If you believe in sun signs, I am a Leo, a double Leo. So Leo sun, Leo rising and a Virgo moon. I also am on the extroverted side, but I'm more of an ambivert. I like my own time, but I also feel recharged by interactions with people. I also believe in expressing yourself as you are, being honest, being authentic. And that's something I want to encourage through my videos to feel inspired to be your best self and whatever and however that looks like and to show up as your authentic self and find out what that is for you and also be fearless in life to follow those dreams that you want to and know that you can start at any time. I will tell you a little bit about my journey really quickly. So I moved to Canada in 2018, six years ago and on 17th of August, 2018, I took that flight three days after turning 19 years old into a world of unknowns and into a world that I didn't know would turn out the way it did. There have been many challenges and many amazing, amazing experiences and growth opportunities for making me into a woman that I'm becoming. I came to Canada to study in Toronto. I studied media communications at Humber College. And I went on to live there for two and a half years. And during COVID, I moved to Montreal, Quebec for my internship. And while I was going through a big breakthrough in my life. And after that one year, I moved back to Toronto, not because I wanted to, but because of the responsibilities that were put on me and that I chose to follow on getting my PR and immigration stuff. So that definitely took me down to the depths of the suffering and pain that I went through to figure out myself in this material or in this world of being responsible versus rational while being a very sensitive person myself and also having phases of struggling with different kinds of anxieties, insecurities and some periods of depression as well. I'm not in that period anymore and I thank God for that but I did go through my fair share of mental, emotional struggles, but all this to bring me closer to spirituality and finding an anchor in that world within myself and in the universe or God, if you like to say that. I am also a certified yoga teacher. I trained in Rishikesh and I'm yet to do my 300 hours training, which I will continue doing once I go back and visit my family. In these six years, I've visited my family twice, only twice, and now it's been two and a half years, and I, I'm hoping that I go soon. I also am a multidisciplinarian art, <laughs> artist. I have many passions, but specifically this that I'm doing right now, talking to you and 
and just expressing myself and like talking to you and being human and sharing my experience of being human right here with you. I also enjoy writing poetry. I sometimes take up little hobbies that I try to turn into business, like I had a jewelry business and I recently started making balms, lip balms, body balms, butters and all that stuff. And also I have been into photography, video making and documenting my life since, ever since I moved to Canada. But I never had the courage to show that real raw self of mine. And now I'm just at a stage where I'm like, fuck that. I just want to go for it. Like I said, I don't want to be a 30 year old looking back and say, saying that I've wasted a decade of my life just trying to hide those true parts of myself or just hiding those imperfections. I think that's why I'm a big advocate for like authentic self expression and all that. Hopefully this page and this platform will give me that and give inspiration to you to do that if you feel anything like I do. Which brings me to what I'll be sharing on my channel. It'll be a lot about sharing my challenges, my journey as an immigrant living in Canada all by herself without her family and Indian perspective as well because I am very much like deep in my Indian cultural roots. Just it's an anchor for me to feel like myself and that's never gonna go and I don't want it to. <sighs> and also embracing how I'm mixing this new culture that, was, that came up to me, the Canadian culture mixing with my Indian roots. I also will be sharing about how my journey has been being solo, dealing with feelings like loneliness, anxiety, and finding friends and communities, and how I've struggled with that and how I've also been able to find those communities. And I'll share things about that and hopefully that helps you out if you are going through that journey. Also, I love editing, though it's very time consuming, but I like to edit and put together little pieces of my life into an art form that can be relatable or inspiring to others. It just brings me a whole satisfaction to just express my voice and speak that out. So I'll be sharing videos about that, philosophical insights, motivational videos, things that have helped me get jobs, my journey in yoga, spirituality. If you do feel you resonated with what I said, I would love for you to join me on this journey and subscribe to my page because that is a way you can stick around. I would love if you comment down where you're from and what brings you here and what you would like to see more of. And I'll see you in the next video on my page. And I'm so happy you're here. Ciao.